Hey Michael, uh, so since we weren't able to get on uh, video chat uh, today, we thought we would just walk you guys through the installation procedure um, and syncing up to a phone, uh, just so you guys have a video reference uh, you know, when we chat tomorrow. Uh, we can go into further detail about exact everything. Uh, we'll quickly cover over the unit itself. This is, uh, this is it, small little handheld dongle. And uh, this is just a battery pack with an OBD2 diagnostics port female. So we can plug this in real quick and plug this on top of that. Uh, now one thing to bear in mind, uh, this firmware is a couple of weeks old and I need to get home to update a couple of things. So there might be a bug or two that we walk into during the demonstration, but I can walk you through pretty much the entire pairing procedure at this point. We'll go in here, sign in real quick to our test account. Okay. So we'll go, let's go, add a bumper, link a new device, make sure that the car is off, etc. Obviously this doesn't apply because we're not in the car. It locates the unit, it pulls up some device data on it, whether or not it's linked to another phone. You hit link, and we give it a name, Chrome, and hit let's link. And it's all set. And now we're watching the unit basically boot up and get ready, etc. If this is earlier in the process, it'll show you like a boot up percentage and whatnot. That's going to change uh, in the next couple of days. We're going to make it into more of a UI UX sort of uh, experience and whatnot. And I think this might be actually one of the few bugs we have left inside the app where this almost ready sits here unnecessarily so. So let me kill that real quick and relaunch. And there we go. Your car is now protected. So basically what that means is that the phone has been fully synced to the unit itself. The unit is live. we will walk you through some of these uh, settings here. We've got a profile uh, for people, etc. We've also got a settings page for the device itself, what firmware version. We've got to fill in what hardware version is in there, the serial number, the name we gave it, uh, a couple of options to do a few like link and unlink and logout procedures. But for the most part, basically, you'll be able to go inside the app and look at one of these impacts and then add like videos and other things, uh, photos, etc., notes included there, uh, and even like uh, pull up notifications uh, or locations in the near future of exactly where the incident happened and be able to export out that data to like a zip file so you can send it over to like insurance adjusters or to the police or to a friend, you know, a multitude of things. Um, if you've got a video or photo in here, it actually shows up in the uh, top right hand corner of the incident tile. Uh, but we can also show you uh, quickly how uh, quickly the unit works. So if we kill out the app, that'll disconnect it from the phone itself. So now the system is technically armed and if the unit was in a car, it would send out a payload if some vibrations hit it. So uh, just one quick easy tap on the device here. And obviously we do this usually with a tennis ball. Uh, should bring us over a payload onto our phone. And there you go. Uh, you know, your Chrome has been bumped. So yeah, that's uh, just a quick example of how easy it is to pair everything and how well everything tends to work. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, happy to get into further details tomorrow with you guys about these things and uh, show you a little bit more about how the system works and whatnot. Talk soon. Bye-bye.